Excuse me. Yeah, this is the this is the brothel. Okay. Yeah, this is the brothel. Lieutenant Dieter. Yes, why? You looking to have a good time? Talk about let talk about the drink ship. It it's seems nuts. like you're sending girls and wine to the harbor office every night. So there's no law against that, is there? No, and I'm not here to stop you. Listen, Dieter, we just wanted to add a secret ingredient to your wine tonight. What? Are you joking? Are you trying to slip a laxative in it? We were thinking more of sleeping pills. Nothing bad, you see. Listen, I have nothing against a little prank, but I can't risk losing my best customers. Ah, uh, charisma. Captain Vasco is very influential among the Nords. Maybe he could help expand your excellent clientele even further. If you accept, <laughs> From the Nords? I could arrange for your agreement to come to fruition. In San Mateus, for example. San Mateus? Uh, I would have to recruit. But yeah, that would be interesting. So then, we agree? Are you, are yes, you off? that's fine. Tonight your friends will receive their delivery seasoned. Now, give me the sleeping potion. Did we just say that... Thanks to these, that... you should be able to slip into the harbor master's office after dark. But you should still dress as one of us, just to make sure you avoid confrontation. Good idea. I'll see you. Did, um... Did he just... Did we just imply that... Oh, cool, he didn't say anything. Did we just imply that, um... We have to go with dark. Did she just imply that the knots... That, um... That, uh... Vasco was gonna offer some of his knots to become people for the... People for the for the brothel? Is that what he was implying? I don't know if that's what he was implying. Um, okay. So, quest. Return to the port when ready. We want to we want to go at night, right? Nighttime. Yeah, we want to go at night. All right. Let's do this. Ooh, I like that outfit. That's like a leprechaun juxtaposed with a with a pilgrim, a pilgrim, pilgrimcon. <laughs> Just like my buddy Chance. Okay. Oh. Ooh, I haven't been here yet. Alright, so now we want to head to... Ooh, did I miss something back there? Lockpick. I have lockpick level 1 because of the outfit that I have. Yes. All right, so let's do a quick save here and make our way. Return to the port when ready. It's pitch black. It's the perfect moment. Dieter's girls should be here soon. What do you want to do? Wait for Dieter's girls. We'll wait for Dieter's girls to do their work as planned. Then we'll enter. Very well. It's definitely the safer option. Yeah. I want to follow what Vasco Dieter's wants. Dieter's daughter cause... is gone. Your guard should get a good night's sleep now. You should go. I'll wait here as planned. I can't risk getting caught there. Don't worry. I'll make sure not to hurt anyone. Good luck, Disarde. Infiltrate. Can I grab? Can I then grab? What are you someone doing? Else? You must go to the harbor office. Yes. You're oh, right. okay. We have no time to lose. All right, so I can't. I have to go just with. That's fine. All right. Alley oop. Try not to be seen. It's not possible just now. Try to be Locked. discreet. 
locked. I don't have the key. Find the key to the harbor office. Great. Oh, is this it? Key to the harbor. Oh, well, that was that was locked. Easy. Nice. Perfect. Steal Vasco's personal file. That would be through there. It's upper floor. I don't want to wake the guards up. gotta be in here. Vasco's personal file stolen from the Harbor Master's office in New Serene. I haven't, it hadn't been stolen yet, but... Okay. Alright. Make a getaway before everybody wakes up. Nice. You didn't see nothing. That leader, leader of the guild, she didn't see nothing. She's like right there, and she's not, not even noticing. Yup, nope, 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 nothing, no problem here. I was able to recover your file, Vasco. And nobody saw me. Wonderful. You did everything perfectly. Of so, course, buddy. Let's see what this file can tell us. Let's see. So I was right. My real name is Leandra. Son Leandra. of the Darcy family from Serene. Nobles, I suppose. Yes. Really? I must admit, I had no idea they'd given a son to the Nords. To think that I spent my childhood polishing ship bridges when I could have been wearing silk. I'm sorry for you, Vasco, but growing up in nobility is not as simple as it sounds. Really? Well, whatever. I've learnt my real name thanks to you, and that's what I wanted. Oh, of Leandra course. Leandra Darcy. I remember coming across a Darcy at my uncle's court. Your brother, no doubt. My brother? Huh. What was he like? It was a long time ago. We were children. I couldn't tell you what he looks like today. A brother? I wonder if we are alike despite our completely different lives. That's Thank you for sharing this and for telling me about him. Maybe we can you find him. You gave me back my identity. This is more important than the Norts care to admit. Yeah, reputation plus three. <gasps> Vasco and I are nice. Yeah. Desarde, can I do anything for you? Yeah, of course. Uh, whether he wished he was never given to the Norts. Do you wish you were never given to the Norts? How could I not be regretful? I never got to experience a mother's love or a lavish youth. Um, ask him if he has any happy memories. Tell him that you're sorry this happened to him. Tell him that life as a sailor has made him a better man. Um, do you have any happy Don't memories? Do you have any happy memories? I do. Of course I do. For example, I remember the first time I climbed up the shrouds. The incredible view. Dizziness, the sensation of complete freedom. It was an unforgettable moment. I can only imagine how you felt, but it sounds amazing. It was. <sighs> I wouldn't trade that memory for all the gold in the world. Thank you, Desarde. You've given me a lot to think about. Did you want anything else? Yeah, my reputation's going up with Vasco. Have you ever heard about your family? Have you family? heard about the Darcy's before? No, I had not. As you know, there are many noble families in Serene. And there was a time when a lot of them had to give a child to the Norts. Hmm. Tell them they would certainly be proud to see a man, to see the man he became. I'm certain that they would be very proud to see that their son is now a famous captain. I doubt it. Once we're taken away from our homes, we become anonymous. 
The nobility see the noughts as nothing more than a necessary evil. We are no longer their children. Did you want anything mm. else? That's I'm asleep. good. Cool. All right. Sweet. So we ended up. We ended up doing a good thing, and I'm really happy that. Um, Vasco relationships level is nice. Very cool. Let's help out our buddy Kurt. He deserves our help too. I've known Kurt longer than any of them, so it would make sense. Hey Kurt, you want to talk now? So does that mean that that quest is completely done for right now? Kurt's quests, okay. So Vasco's quest is done. Communicate, explore, cartography, champion arena. All right. Um, speak to Kurt. Greenblood, tell me, do you remember that young recruit I spoke to you about? I would sure. still like to present him to you. So then, would you like to accompany me to meet him? Sure. Accept the recruit immediately. But of course, let's go. Raina must be with the other recruits in the barracks. I've been asking myself why everyone calls you captain, seeing as you have no ship. But now I'm beginning to understand. I'm happy to have poured some oil in your lantern, sailor. Oh, I, I didn't quite, wasn't able to hear that banter, pay much attention to the banter, because I was busy choosing, choosing my party. Come on, guys, wait until after. All right, so I want to find the younger crew in the barracks, okay. Hopefully he's still awake. Maybe he has the night shift. I don't know. Just gotta go around here. It is a really humbling sight to see a noble woman in a dress sweeping, sweeping outside in her in her best outfit. That is, that to me is an image that I find very entertaining. Did you? Bertir to mud on old Menawi. I am always happy to see you again. Of course. Do you want to see the objects I brought back from Vignamri? Yes, I do. How are you? How is your business, business going? Nowadays? You no longer have problems with the guard. I no. hope not. Since you gave me this piece of bark, the guards don't dare bother me anymore. And Perfect. the people of this village really like what I bring back from Vignamri. Our chief Ulan is very happy, <gasps> as am I. Ah, we Ulan. owe you so much. Nice, I'm glad that I just spoke with Ulan. I can't mention that to him for some reason. Ah, cool. Ring of protection. Ooh. Mental power too. Okay. Stone needle. I'm gonna keep note, put a note that he has that ring of protection there. Sitting Mason skirts, vlogs, Aegis metal. Oh, is that better than what I have right now? I'm not sure. Fighter's boots, alchemical stasis mix, sensor used for funerals. Let's get it just in case. Cool. You will always be welcome here. Thank you, sir. I'm glad. Oh, did I, um... I wanted to check his armor. Um, obsidian mason skirt, scout's tunic. Okay, not bad. And I will always be happy to see what you have to sell. Alright. Oh, great. Silly thieves. More thieves. Got 
action. Somebody has to clean up this town. Ooh, priest's boots. Nice. I'll take that and I'll take this. Takes everything. All right. Good day, soldiers. Your Excellency. Captain. Soldiers, may we be of service. It's so red in here. Um, evoke the subject of Rainer. Ask for formal presentations. Ask them their assignment. Rank and assignment, soldiers. Recruit, first class, Blue Silver Regiment, 8th Company, Your Excellency. The Blue Silver Regiment is made up of men attributed to serve the Congregation of Merchants. I'm one of them. And the 8th Company was sent to Tier for D, with two other companies. Anything hmm. else, Excellency? What is your charge? Maintain order in the city, Excellency. Anything else, Excellency? I'm looking for the soldier, Rayner. Is he in the barracks? I never heard that name before, Captain. Never heard really? the name, Captain. That's strange. I'm certain he was sent here. Maybe he's been moved since then. When was the last time you'd heard news of him? In Serene, just before our departure. But that's been a couple of months. If I may, Captain, should I have a word with the Quartermaster? That's right, Captain. He has a register with the affectations of every recruit in the Blue Silver Regiment. Anything else, Excellency? Uh, you guys are dismissed. That will be all. That is, You're soldiers. Relieved. Thank you. Yeah, let's talk to Manfred. We're always talking Hello, to Manfred. Your Excellency. What can I do for you? I've been looking for one of my recruits. Goes by the name of Rayner. I would like for His Excellency to meet him. Rayner? I'm sorry, Kurt. I thought you'd been informed. Did he not informed about make what? it? He is dead. Did he not? <gasps> he was found, drowned in the port harbor day before yesterday. I was told what? he had too much to drink and fell in. I'm extremely what? sorry, Kurt. The young men drink more than they can handle when they're on leave. That's bollocks. That lad isn't the sort to sully himself with drink. I don't believe it. We need to People find out change. what happened. When they're far from home, the lads have little else to do. I still don't believe it. Listen, you might as well go and ask the doctor down in the morgue. I might have misunderstood what was reported to me. Those doctors use such long words for simple things. Excellent idea. At least now you'll see it for yourself. You're right. Let's go. I'm Is there sorry, anything else? Kurt. No. No, I'm good. Thank you. I'm sorry, Kurt. That really stinks. Lower floor. I feel terrible that your friend died. That's awful. The morgue. The morgue is not here. The morgue is not by the... The morgue is so close to the brothel. That's what I find really funny. Well now, a visit. Can I help you with something? Whatever is a doctor of the bridge alliance doing in the barracks of the new serene coin guard? I was posted here from the University of Al Saad, as per their agreement with the guard. Agreement? What sort of agreement? The guard requested dedicated doctors for the care of their troops. The university accepted under two conditions. That the doctors practice only in the territories of the bridge or her allies, and that we have the privilege of examining all of their corpses in the interest of anatomical study. These uh -huh. requests were made official thanks to the agreement charter. And I must say, we have been able to increase our knowledge of anatomy immensely. Anything else? Now let's cut to the chase. We are here concerning the matter of recruit Rayner. Are you family or friends? You could say that. I'm the one who recruited the lad. I see. Well, what I can do is tell you what I can. When was the body brought to you? Day before yesterday, in the early morning. Can you tell me anything about the circumstances? All I know is what I was told by the fellows who brought the body to me. They said they'd spent the evening together at the tavern, that they'd had a great deal to drink. A horrid habit the soldiers all seemed to share. 
Rainer was not a drinker. Maybe not. All the same, he was drinking that night. He stepped outside for a moment and never came back in. His companions found him drowned in the bay early morn. And they brought him to me. Did it ever occur to you that it might have been murder? It could have been. How then did he die, in your opinion? He drowned. I'm we sorry. It's regrettable. He was quite a young man. Yeah, and his death makes no sense. He didn't drink, and he knew how to swim. All the same, that's what happened. I greatly regret or it. Or he could have been murdered. What? <laughs> that's still also a possibility. Why don't we take a look at the body? Um, no, I wouldn't recommend that. To see your friend in such a state. Uh-oh, you're soldier, so shady. Doc. I've seen a number of men in pieces. Let me see the young lad. I... I regret, Captain. I cannot allow that. Mm, why not? Why did you stutter? I insist. I have as of yet to present myself. I'm Sir Desardé, legate of the Congregation of Merchants on Tierfredi. And as the title infers, I have the power to inspect this barracks and all that it contains. Therefore, I must insist. I see. A thousand pardons, Excellency. I should have recognized you and shown more respect. It's the body in the middle. Examine him if you must. But please be so kind as to not leave a mess after you. Mm -hmm. This doesn't look like the body of young Rainer. This doesn't look like the body of young Rainer. Examine. Science level 2. I don't have science level 2, do I? Like with my equipment. I don't think anything. I have anything that gives science. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to get science level 2. I'll just examine him normally. This one is just a boy. His face is still locked in an expression of pain. Kurt, is this your recruit? Yes, that's my Rainer. Poor kid. I should have left him with his family where he was. If you want to learn more, we'll need to examine the body. Is that all right? He's not the first young man I've seen with the lights gone from his eyes. Go on. I'm no doctor, but this boy doesn't seem to have drowned at all. It looks like he's been beaten. Uh, it's suspicious. The boy I knew would never have drunk himself senseless to the point he'd fall into the bay, I'm telling you. I, I believe, believe you. you, Kurt. But if we want to prove it, we'll need to find more evidence. Find evidence of the lie. Oh man, poor kid. Preliminary autopsy results. The subject is a young man under the age of 20. He has several hematomas on the entirety of the body surface. Some more recent than others. Forearm bones are broken. Lesions on the hands. Several broken ribs. Skull is sunken, likely to be the cause of death. So why did he say that he drowned? If he clearly had other things, he was beaten. Clearly had other things. That doctor totally lied. Totally lied, and I am going to have his hide if he doesn't start Excuse telling me the me, truth. Excuse me, Doctor, but you owe us a few explanations. This boy did not die by drowning. It is absolutely the cause of death, I assure you. Then what the about your notes? The science of death is a complex art, and you are certainly not a doctor. And maybe you shouldn't be. <laughs> maybe you shouldn't be one that either. That is true, but you are. Do you recognize your own notes? Your writing is hard to read, but the word drowning never appears. Mm-hmm. What an idiot. I should have burned those notes. You I are an idiot. I am truly sorry. I, I swear I have never, ever falsified a report before. But I was given mm -hmm. no choice in the matter. How's that? Oh, yeah? What are you talking about? <laughs> Two men, uh, uh, lieutenants, I believe, brought a body to me telling me the boy had drowned in an accident. I saw immediately this was a lie, but I did not push the matter. I began my examination, planning to submit my report to the quartermaster as per usual, but the men returned. I was told to forget what I'd discovered and say that he had indeed drowned, or else. Uh, there's Who always corrupt they? people. I have no idea. 
I had never seen them before at the barracks. I, I guess their rank by their uniforms. What colors were they sporting? None. They must have removed the emblems of their regiment. Listen, it's obvious that this boy was beaten repetitively, and that was the cause of death. I have no intention of suffering the same fate. Have no fear, Doctor. We will make no mention of your name. Andivor's mm. Tire. That means, may the earth welcome him. Now, who I in the world... For you, Kurt. Thank you, Sior. That's sweet. I'm glad that there's some banter in this in this um, game. I would I would love more, but I'm glad that they included it. I was gonna say, who in this city could could ever be fooled just by some random person that happens to be wearing the outfit of, you know, a specific outfit? Who who here would be totally fooled by that? Come on now, come on now, that doesn't happen. Oh my goodness. Ask the intendant, or attendant, intendant, attendant, intendant, up this way. All right. Quartermaster Manfred, Hello, yet again. Your Excellency. What can I do for you? Aren't you just sick and tired of me? We have a situation, Manfred. Rainer didn't drown. The doctor falsified his report. He was threatened and feared for his own life. You have to be pulling me leg. Who bullied the crow face? Lieutenants that he didn't recognize, alas. And who wore no regiment emblems. Which regiment was Rainer assigned to? I would like to have a word with his commanding officer. Let me have a look at the register. My memory isn't what it once was. Stab my heart with a rusty blade. His name's been crossed out. Oh, if I catch the bastard that did that. What mess was the boy into, Manfred? What could this be about? Your lad was in the 6th or maybe the 11th before being reassigned to who knows where. Just like that? You out of everyone have to know where the recruits are assigned. Not mm -hmm. of late. This isn't the first lad who's been reassigned all of a sudden at the drop of a hat. Each time no. I start complaining about it, I'm told they've changed regiments. And it's not my concern. Something truly bizarre is going on here. I don't like this at all. I don't. Let's try don't and like discover either, which Kurt. company he was stationed at before this mysterious reassignment. Agreed. Is there anything else? Um, no. Yeah. Thank you. I need to get to the bottom of this mystery, Greenblood. I don't like being taken for a fool. Even if the lieutenants weren't stationed at these barracks, someone here must know where Rayner was assigned. We should also go and check the tavern. Men on leave will perhaps have looser lips than those within the walls. Yeah, we're already at the tavern, so let's do that. This we have a mystery to solve, gang. Good day, soldier. Uh good day, my lord De Sarde, Legate of the Congregation on Tierfredi. Captain Kurt. Oh, I excuse me, Excellency. I I didn't know. Captain, I, I truly am sorry. At your service, my lord. Excellency. Mm. Since you know who we are, present yourself, soldier. Ah, yes, sir. Recruit 2nd Class Alric, Blue Silver Regiment, 11th Company. At your service. Anything else? You don't quite look like you've got the hang of all this. How long have you been in? I... Is it that obvious? It's quite normal for a new recruit. I joined up four months ago, but at the beginning we were on board ship, you see. I don't know if that really counts. I started exercises when we got to New Serene, but I'm making progress, they say. And do you like it here? I sure do. That's why I joined the guard, to come here, to leave the continent. Know what I mean? I do. Anything else? 